time. We're playing a game of space blocks. Oh. first. 
That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm -hmm. This will be the best tower ever! Woohoo! This is so easy, Emma! Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK! We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block! <laughs> a bit too fast there. <laughs> no problem. We still have plenty of time to build another. Only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks are coming up. Things before building. But Emma and 
orbit weren't so organized, they decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done. I think it's time to go home. So buckle up. Sorry, Orbit. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK, isn't this your favorite teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Oh, poor Mr. Fuzzy Was. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Place where we can get rid of our junk. Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. The junk planet! The Junk Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
so much junk here, it's overflowing. And we're only going to add to it. it looks like this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? <laughs> I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Rob, wait! Hi, Mr. Garbage Bot. I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your robo mind! Don't you know you never make friends with a scrap metal-loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! <laughs> But he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. Why would someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed, easily. See, it's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these, too? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled. Like this plastic bottle. Rockin' Robots! We really can make today Planet Cleanup Day! What do you think? Yes! We can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused, or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait! I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed, too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was! Oh, no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless... Oh, no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <laughs> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah. Wow! So much junk! We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> Thank goodness for rocket boots. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. <laughs> We've got to do something. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Plastic and even tin, they all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin, they all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look! I think some 
lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. But these, these are definitely Intergalactic Garbage Pal. So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? Hooray! And we can do our part too by taking some stuff back to the rocket, like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes. And I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today was our rocket cleanup day. So we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios, and even a bogo stick. And we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back, thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rocks. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Dunk Planet. Heroes like Heracles. 
That sounds like one heroic mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. The cake planet? <laughs> that won't do. We don't want to train for a cake eating contest. <laughs> Might work if we were training pets. <laughs> the stadium planet. That's perfect. It looks just like the kind built in ancient Greece. Yes, the stadium planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Perfect 
chariot for a hero like me. I'm pretty sure they're all the same, Rob. Don't you mean Robocles? Er, right. Robocles. I think they look a lot like the chariots found in ancient Greece. Hmm. Aren't these chariots supposed to have horses? I bet Heracles' chariot had horses. These are robo-chariots. They move on hover power. Even Heracles couldn't catch me in one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. Hang on! <laughs> Buckle up! Five! 